So can you just give me like, you know, maybe two or three of like the craziest things you've ever seen God do? That just blew you, that blew your mind where you're like, wow. There is a few things that really blew, really blew my mind. Like this raising of the dead is something else. But another day also, we were five people. That also blows my mind completely. We were driving in Nissan, four by four car. Five of us, Bruce, his wife, they missionary somewhere in America there, from America there. And Tanken Frost from Germany was with us in the car. We were driving from the north of Mozambique. And this was the driving of three days drive. Okay, we set up the sleeping stage. We're gonna sleep in Beira tomorrow. We're gonna sleep in Mashish and then so on. That's at the stopping point. Okay, great. It was 11 o'clock while we're still driving. Jose Lorino is the driver in Maputo. He's in Maputo. He works for dinner agents now in Maputo. So he was driving us. I was sitting behind him. In front was the lady from Germany, Tanniken Frost, his old lady now. He's living still in Mozambique. She doesn't, gonna, doesn't want to go back to Germany anymore. He's very old now. And then what happened is that suddenly some people, Ruth was next to me, started sleeping. Brian was there at the corner, started sleeping. Tanniken was sleeping. The driver holding the steering wheel was sleeping. Suddenly, the six person, we were five. This person, beautiful like a girl. Very, the hair was gold. Very long hair, golden hair, with a dress. The dress was light green dress, without shoes, hold the steering wheel. When I saw that, that really blowed my mind. I started confessing my sin, because I knew that we are gonna die and then I have to die clean. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I'm a sinner, I'm a sinner, Lord, I'm a sinner, Lord. The, the, that person turns around and look me and like that with the best smile. Oh, even I intense repenting my sins. I'm a sinner, Lord, I'm a sinner. And then at the end of the staff, I shouted with a loud voice. What next, Lord? And then the lady on the car disappeared. The driver hold the steering wheel. Everybody walks in the car. They didn't see the sixth person that was sitting there. Sitting there. The driver said, oh, I'm feeling sleep. Anyone has a water, I want to wash my face. In my heart, said, you've been sleeping the whole day. We gave him the water, we stopped. And then the man, he started washing his face. We started driving. As soon as we started driving, few minutes, maybe hours, we were arriving in Maputo. The gen that we are supposed to drive three days, we drove a half a day. That blowed my mind. That blowed my mind in an intense way. So, so he's driving. Was he? And how did how did she drive? I don't understand. Like, he was just holding the steering wheel. Oh, was she sitting like on his lap? He was not sit, sitting. He was like the door here doesn't have a door. The door of the driver. Okay. There is no door. That person, the way how it okay. was like, there was no door. Was just through the door. He's holding the steering wheel. Wow. Yeah. That's a wild one. That was wild. I see, I wasn't asleep. The driver himself was holding, sort like this. <laughs> and the journey of three days, we go to half a day. And when we arrived in Maputo, we started sharing that. Well, if it was one person, nobody would believe. Mm. But because we were five people, they believed. But the driver himself was crying like a baby. Hmm. And myself, something, I don't know what, when the driver started crying, I was crying also. We cried like a baby that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, it blows my mind. I will never forget the existence of the supernatural world. The people are all over, are everywhere. <laughs> yeah.